What's going on, y'all? This is Greg. Greg said it here. Back with part two, Motivational Inspirational Sunday. We had a great live today. The title today um, live was Coach Prime said it. How about that? Coach Prime did say it. He said he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. I don't think he got as far as he did in life not doing what he said he's going to do and not being able to produce. I mean, he's been an exceptional athlete. His whole career in two sports, he looks like a man who make up his mind and do what he say he's going to do. And that's what we see. He said he's going to have a high, a, he, he wasn't blowing blue smoke. He wasn't gaslighting when he said this weekend, that he's going to be the weekend. And, you know, all the hype around the weekend, he was, oh, he's not going to do it. He did it. He came through, lineman after lineman. The, one of the, the biggest linemen in the, in the of the of the year, especially out of the class of 2024, signed with him, and it just keep on happening, y'all. He's signing players left and right. He signed a couple big time receivers, young receivers. He signed a lot of uh, a couple young linemen who <clears throat> got a little eligibility and saw him who ready to, to go on out after a year. But man, he got some dogs ready to go with his son to go out for that one last run. He got some top linemen that's been starting and been producing. It's no theory at the high level, proven. Yeah, I got a feeling he's not done yet because right now it's been primarily the offensive side of the ball. You know he, he got a strategy. You're not going to just drop them all at once. Just spread them out through the weekend. I got a feeling defense is going to really knock people's socks off because once you get that D-line on the defense, you know, every area that everybody pointed out, he's, he's addressing it. That's the type of man who who's been addressing issues his whole life to get where well, he didn't get there by mistake. He didn't get to the top of his game in two professional sports at the same time by mistake, by not making adjustments. We say he didn't make adjustments during the season. Maybe he could have, maybe he couldn't, but for sure he's making them now because he's making adjustments. Literally, he's adjusting his, his roster. He's bringing in some guys who, you know, maybe he didn't have time to get last year. He was getting ready for a celebration bowl last year. Or maybe they wanted to see what it would look like. He's proven he's going to bring the eyeball. He's proven he's going to bring the scouts. He's proven that he got the talent that he brought. They can play the next level. Just a few missing pieces, mainly in the trenches. That's been what he's talked about all year. The trenches, the trenches, the trenches. And he's acknowledging them. And he's he's tapping it head on. He's going to be overly stopped in the trenches. Offense, now we're going to see what's next on the defense. I'm going to tell you, I think we can learn a lot. He took a lot on the chin this year, a lot of disrespect of him as a coach, as a person, his intentions, his motives. He took it on the chin. He took some cheating to me. The refs were cheating. People, the NCAA was doing a little weird stuff. You know, he took it on the chin. He said, when I get you, I'm going to get you. He said, get me now. He said it at the Oregon. And he took that. And I, I think he meant that from the heart. Don't expect sympathy when he when he get up. Don't don't ask for him to be humble. Don't ask for you know when he when he start pulling y'all receipts. We say you didn't believe, or when he start pulling your receipts, when you say oh he can't coach, and he run through next year, because like I said earlier, I think that he's done that at Jackson State for the level he was at. He acquired a lot of talent that was above the rest of the conference he was playing at to me and that came after his first year and the second year because he basically had a uh two and a half seasons really and when them guys realize i want to go play with him that's where it's at i'm gonna get the looks i'm gonna get the exposure you ain't gonna better stop people from coming to him and when he get the talent that he want he's proven he can win so, picking on the Coach Prime his first year, picking on the Colorado, man, it's not going to be pretty. When he get on top, he going to remember you. He going to remember how you, you know, picked on the man that, that lost pretty much five games by eight or less. You know, what was the record? Four and eight. And... Five of those games are by eight or less. 
And it's only one of those games, I think he lost by 10. The other two was a blowout. You really stepped on him. You really took advantage of it. Like you said, I guess, you really took advantage of stepping on him while he was down. But the reality is he wasn't that far behind. And in my theory, the refs gave a lot of help. You saw blatantly in Utah. You saw a lot of calls get called in a lot of games at critical moments. Pass interferences. Not for Colorado. Pass interferences for other teams. Personal foul calls. A lot of penalties. It's debatable on that they deserve all them penalties, but you know they was one of the most high penalized teams in the country from day one. He wasn't that far behind. But he's going to make sure he's going to be way ahead. And like I said, I think we can all learn. Sometimes in life, we we down. People count us out. We grinding. And it's like, you know, we might be doing our best with what we have. And people take advantage of it. They step on you while you're down. But you fighting because you know, I'm, I'm going to get there. And they looking like, like you're going to always be there. And they step on you. And some people quit. But some people get that 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 fight in them. They say that dog in them. So that's okay. Now, I'm not all about getting revenge. You don't do stuff to get revenge on people. They ain't even worth it. But you sure can use it as fuel. When people look at you like, you the low dog. You low on the pole. Nobody checking for you. But you putting in that work. And eventually, they're going to have to see about you. They're going to have to see about you. And you ain't got to talk. Because Prime say, we coming. We here. You ain't even got to do that much. Let's keep putting in that work. And while they count you out, you stacking up. You stacking up. You stacking up resources. You stacking up relationships. Like you said, he building that old line. He's going to build that D-line. And he's going to look up. He's going to have one of them lines almost look like them big boys. And they're going to be putting up big boy numbers. They did it with little boy linemen. What are they going to do with these big boys? These big linemen. What are they going to do with these, these D linemen who put the pressure on? They, they, led, they pretty much led the nation a lot of the season in turnovers without a D line that was dominant, without the linebackers who was thumping. You keep playing with these folks. When they get them pieces, you, you barely beat them without the pieces. What you going to do when they get them? <clears throat> you're going to get your turn. Like Coach Prime, you're going to get your turn. You're going to get your opportunity to, to prove. What you were. You just keep putting in that work. When your day comes, they're not going to be able to say nothing. They got to just acknowledge it was wrong. They got to bow. They're going to have to admit it. That's why I like Coach Prime. That's why I like Colorado Buffalo, Buffaloes because they, they give inspiration. They give a lot of insight. They, they show you how to do it. Keep your head down. Keep working. You're going to get your turn again. And with that, y'all, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. This has been my inspiration, motivation Sunday. Greg said it, and I'll talk to y'all soon.